Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 38 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. There we need to determine the current through each resistor. We look at this circuit and it looks difficult, right? So we give the name for each resistor and the current for each branches. First, we look at the point A. As there is a current flow in is I flows out I1 plus I2. So we can write it there. And then the position B, the current flows in I1 flows out I3 plus I5. Then look at the point D, the current flows in I2 flows and I5 flows out is I4. So I4 equal to I2 plus I5. Then look at the position C, we can see the current flows in I3 and I4 flows out I. Right. So there we can list the four equations by these are four these are these are four points. Now next one we look at the Chirhoff loop rule for the loop one. So we can say we can draw a loop from R1 to R5 to R2, right? This way. And then we can see from the position A, the current goes through resistor R1, so voltage decreases, so minus I1 times R1. Then the current goes through R5, so voltage decreases, so minus I5, R5, and then goes back to R2. There you can see the loop's direction is offset with the current's direction. So we need to add, add it up, right? The voltage increase, so add I2 times I R2 equal to zero. Then we look at the loop 2. From the position B, we can see goes, current goes through the R3, Voltage decreases, so minus I3 times R3, and then at this direction, you can see the loop's direction is offset with the current's direction, so this is a plus I4 times R4, and then goes through the R5, so this is the current direction offset with the loop's direction, so this is a plus I5 times R5 equal to zero. And then we look at the loop 3, we can see at the initial level we have battery, right? so EMF is there. So voltage increased by y epsilon, and then goes through the resistor R2, so voltage decreases I2 times R2, so minus I2 times R2, and then minus I4 times R4 goes back. So now you can see we have these seven equations. We input the given quantities about resistor there, so now it looks like this way, right? And then we can solve these seven equations Give it the quantity for I1, I2, I3, I4, I5. And after our calculation, we find I5 is in negative side. This negative side tells us this current direction is opposite with the assumptions. So it is upward, actually. Thank you.